Hello everyone and welcome back to Count On Us. Today I have a special class for you. I've got three important points that will help you to understand why separate guidance like IAS2 are required to account inventory. The first point is inventory forms a significant part of financial statement. As we know that financial statement is the backbone of every organization and it functions as a company's source of money management. If there is no separate guidance for inventory, it will affect the financial statement and the organization as well. The second point is the value of inventory directly affects the liquidity position of a business in some extent. So what is the connection between inventory and liquidity? Before that, I tell you what is liquidity. Liquidity refers to the company's ability to pay off its short-term liabilities such as accounts payable that come due in less than a year. Simply, liquidity indicates how quickly you can access that money if you need to. So, inventory that you expect to sell in the near future would be considered a liquid asset, though it is still not as liquid as cash because although you may expect to sell your inventory, unexpected circumstances might come up and stop that from happening. So high inventory doesn't always mean that a high liquidity in some extent. The third point is the value of inventory directly affects the profitability of a business. If any error, misrepresentation, misstatement or fraud in the valuation of inventory, it will definitely affect the entire health of a company. If the inventory is overstated, it decreases the cost of goods sold. This makes the company look more profitable than it actually is. If the inventory is understated, it makes the company look less profitable. This can make it difficult to attract investors or qualify for loans. Considering the importance of inventory or all these parameters, which definitely required that we must have guidance on how to value inventory. That's why IAS2 Inventories is providing us how to value and measure inventories.